Hello everyone, welcome to AB Animation Studios, After Effects Tutorial. Today we are going to create this. Let's jump into the video. Before starting, if you like our channel, please press that subscribe button to motivate us, and press the like button, if you like this tutorial. Give your suggestions in the comment box below, I have downloaded this robo vector from the internet. Now, I am splitting the layers, you can download the same vector file, link will be in the description. Import the file by dragging and dropping into the After Effects project bin. Follow the same settings, and click OK. Double click the comp to open. Before starting, arrange the anchor point to the center of each object. So, while you are animating, that will help you. You can use the anchor point tool. If you have too many elements, you can isolate the particular element by enabling this box. And adjust the anchor point. Once you are done, please check all the layers. Now create a null layer. parent all robo layers to the null except the shadow layer so you can easily animate the robo position as our reference press p on the keyboard to see position create a keyframe by pressing the stopwatch icon i am trimming the comp to 10 seconds move the timeline indicator to 1 second and animate the position. Check the animation. Apply Easy Ease. To apply a loop to the animation, we need to add an expression. To do that, hold Alt key, and click the stopwatch. Here type loop out, put open brackets then, prime symbol, type as ping pong, prime, and then close brackets. Check the animation. Looks perfect. Now, we can animate the eye blink. Select the layer, make sure the anchor point is in the center. Press S, on the keyboard to see scale. Now create three keyframes. Go to the middle keyframe, and unlink the scale X and Y, and type 0. Looks slow. Select keyframes, and hold out and drag it. Apply Easy A's by pressing F9 on the keyboard. Now copy and paste the keyframes to make in loop. For shadows, it's so simple, like when it's coming down, shadow should be big, while going up, shadow should be small. Press S on the keyboard to see scale, and remember we should sync with the animation time of the null layer. So create a keyframe in the starting point and for the end. Place the indicator and scale down the value. Apply Easy A's. To loop the animation, just copy this expression and paste it in this layer. Check the animation. Looks good. For hand animation, we can use rotation but in this video we are going to use CC Bend It effect. Search for effects and presets. 
drag and drop the effect to the hand layer. Adjust the start and end point to remove the cutout. Please note, don't bend it too much then it will not look good. Before animating check it. I am going to match with the null layer keyframes. So we need to open the keyframes in the null layer, press U in the keyboard. Start animating it. Apply easy ease to loop. Do the same thing, which we followed for shadow and the null layers. Check the animation. For the other hand, you need to follow the same steps. Check the animation. To make it more interesting you can add more elements. I have attached the sound effect video link also, please download that and use. That's it for today, hope you have learned something new. If you like this tutorial, please give a like and don't forget to check our YouTube channel and give your support by pressing the subscribe button and bell icon. We'll see you in the next video.